All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're back. Back with this Athens Creed Valhalla. Sail! Ziggler! That's the wind! Is that a duck? We need an epic tale. Stories must wait. Okay. Heading right towards it. Go, my eyes. And it's a big one. Look at that. Okay. On the white cliffs. Love these things. This is actually where Romans landed centuries ago. Or centuries in relative to this game. That's a bird, I think. What do you see? I don't think I would be able to raid this, can I? No, I don't think so. Dover. The emissary is somewhere here. Perhaps I can find the letter without bloodshed. The Bard said paladins trained at this fortress. This will not be an easy fight. No, no, not at all. <laughs> See if I can up there. Stretch your wings, sir. Okay, so where exactly do we go? Right there. Be my eyes soon. So probably inside this, what is this, a chapel? I doubt it's in the keep proper. Let's see. 
need your eyes, my friend. Okay, so there's several entrances. If I can just get up high. And some are in there. I don't like that, and I'm sure they don't like that. That I'm here. Nothing. Seriously, it's not in here? Got that impression for the simple fact that, uh, hmm. Oh, it's just outside. All right. Well, I at least got few of a few, got rid of a few big enemies. Climb up. Shit, am I stuck? Am I not actually cl climb out the way I came? <laughs> there we go. Okay, the intense music is getting annoying. It's kind of a it's kind of a glitch. So from there we go. Guide me. All right. So probably in that tower, or maybe in that hut there. Go. Really, there's no way. Okay. The way in is probably at the ground level. Who saw me? <laughs> Not in here. There it is. Please tell me that's just that's just an ambient if I could bill. Steal the letter without killing the emissary. It'll keep me out of trouble. <gasps> oh, 
quickly. Was <sighs> Saxon Thane Tedmud? Alfred's chosen elderman is a thing called Tedmund. The abbot Kinnebert will want to know. I should meet Bassem and the abbot in Fulkenston. Alright, where is Fulkenston? That way. Great! Actually, can I fast travel to my ship and just kind of sail around? Yes! I have a feeling we're going to be drawn back to that fort. We're eventually going to have to destroy it or raid it. Strike of the tune. We'll share a tale. A I know a crazed man about my age called Roker. We are taken to calling Rokur the Rogue for his habit of collecting axes. For 20 years he collected axes of all make and size. He had never seen a day of battle, but he swore to Thor that he would. In his 31st year, after drinking too much ale, Rokur seduced another man's wife. That man called a Holmgang against Rokur. Rokur accepted the Holmgang, and on the agreed upon day... Save it for later. Oh, we could have just... Oh no, wait. Is that itself a camp, or is that does that lead up to the? It leads up to the fortress, so we could have raided it. There, a military Sailor. captain. Now is not the time. All right. My favorite part of any battle is the moment before it. Everyone has their ritual in that flutter of anticipation. Our hearts race. Soma would visit the children of the camp, recount an old myth like a wise scald. She filled those little ones with courage. She knew they desired a chance to fight in great battles one day. And if we did not win, they would not have their chance. Once I followed her on this ritual and watched her speak. To keep things fun, she often mixed up the old myths. Then Freya rode her cat through Elfheim. Tearing up the dark elves in search of the need of poetry. Those little eyes, the children's faces, a flame. An amor deep sail! I saw myself as one of them. I felt so much better. Soma has that way with people. She has that way with me. She need only tell a story or two, and the war is already won. <laughs> Well, that's good to hear. You always gotta find that special someone. Please tell me there's a dock here. Dock the ship here! Okay, gentlemen. Oh, you must try my ale sometime. You must. My abbey brews the best in Kent. It certainly sounds. Eivor, you have news? Kent's new elderman will be Thane Tedmund. Tedmund? Oh, the Lord is testing me. He is made mouse by you Danes. Barely leaves his fortress at New Sister. How might I gain his influence if he will not speak to me? Or to anyone. It is a puzzle. To inspire loyalty, Tetman must owe you something. Such as his life. Go on. A fortress stormed. A man kidnapped. If you beat back his enemy, save him from sure death, his gratitude would be... Swell. It would know no bounds. But that fortress will be harder to pry open than a nun's knees. Perhaps. Perhaps not. We can take him from Rusester Fortress. We'll need a small, experienced force of men. 
Rue's sister is not a house of straw and sticks. It's a garrison, crawling with soldiers. I don't see how it's possible. I don't believe it's necessary. Are you hiding something, Bassam? There is a lumber mill nearby, correct? Bemisfield. Alfred invests much in fortifying Wessex, and uses our forests to do so. The mill provides his wood. Tedmund is there. Impossible! How do you know? I heard rumors that Tedmund had been lured out of self-exile to manage work on the fortifications of Canterbury. Taking him from a lumberyard is less dangerous than assaulting a fortress, but your rescue attempt will not have the same flair. Is it worth it? It may still work. Yes. Yes. Bring him to the Megaliths. And Fulke? When I have Tedman's fealty, you shall have Fulke. Now go. I will rustle up a small rescue party. All right, we've got our target. Where to, Basim? I'm wary of this abbot, Basim. He is self-serving and evasive. Can he really deliver Fulke? The abbot is a friend of Fulke's. That is clear. So long as he doesn't suspect our motive, we may have a chance. Indeed. This brings to mind a story. Perhaps you've heard of it. The Scorpion and the Frog. A children's story? A cautionary tale. The Scorpion wants to cross the river, but he cannot swim. So he enlists the help of the Frog. The Frog agrees to carry him on his back, extracting a promise that the Scorpion will not sting him. Let me guess, the Scorpion Rene explaining his nature and both drown. But the Scorpion crosses the river and stings an innocent man, killing him. So what does this tale tell us? That your stories are clouded and their meaning doubly so? It shows <laughs> that every tale has a thousand possible outcomes, many of which are surprising. If the abbot does not deliver Fulke, he will die at my hand. And we will continue our search. A sobering approach. Okay, well that's good to know. And why are, why are they assaulting us? And why in God's name is there another horse following us? Bemisfield is just ahead. Lead. I will follow. What is going on? I hope this chase will catch us a plump hen. Once the abbot has Tedman's gratitude, he will deliver Fulke. It will cost us nothing more than this. If that leaden wit keeps his word. Ah, you prefer to work in the shadows. <laughs> this place is fully fortified. Why is this horse here? Go away! That horse is gonna blow our cut. Oh my god, dude. Hey! Alright, let's go here. There we Show go. Show me what lies ahead. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm really not liking that horse. We're probably gonna need a key. You know what? Screw it. Oh. 
saw. Oh, a snake. How do I get in there? Okay, somebody saw me, they must have. There we go. Is Bassam fighting anyone? Nope, he's just sort of crouched there. Oh shit, no, no. <laughs> so he's up there. I thought he was in here. He must move. Alright, buddy. Oh, wait, somebody's still, uh. Break, you. Really, you're just throwing rocks? and you live. Live? Oh, saints protects me! Silence will save you, Tidman. Silence, not your saints. <laughs> Flee, my friend. We have the man we came for. Does this venture not set your blood ablaze? You don't prefer working in the shadows. And so we have. To steal a man, take him with swiftness, and escape without anyone on our heels. We hide in plain sight. Such is our way. But only until the moment of success. The final strike. I prefer to act and speak plain. Kings and lords who do not are often misunderstood. Yet, as a leader yourself, you cannot deny that subtlety and intrigue are a cloak you must wear. How many of your clan know the true circumstances of Sigurd's absence? Hmm. You see my point. A leader must know when to speak and when to stay silent. For silence is not always a lie. It can feel like one. You truly embrace the concept of hiding in plain sight, eh? To its very fullest. As I do in everything. Hmm.
Okay, what the hell is going on here? Carry him where? Halt, Danes! In the name of Alfred, King of Wessex, I demand you release his royal subject into my care. Come no closer, Christian, else your man dies by my blade. Please, I, I'm not the man you want. Keep your eye on this one. He'll be worth a hefty bounty. Any false moves and I will snip your heels. We have your man. Now let's finish this shadow play and be gone. Are you sure that's Tedmund? He's dressed as a lord, but that man is shorter and fatter than I recall. I'm not Tedmund. I, I, I'm not. I, I swear upon the holy rood. I, I am not Thane Tedmund. What in heaven's name is happening here? Who are you? Speak quickly or I'll slit your throat and leave you for the crows. Shergar. I, I'm called Shergar. Lord Tedmund pays me a measly coin to serve as his double. Brother Shergar? You are far from Augustine's priory. I, I left the cloisters many moons ago, Your Holiness. The monastic life was not my calling. We can use you yet, Shagar. Summon Tedman to a meeting. Get him out in the open. Tedman has no care for me or what I have to say. My orders come by letter, never by mouth. I hardly know the man. You're of no use to us then. Perhaps I should just kill you, here or now. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Let, let, let me think, let me think. Oh, Danes, T to storm the walls, you need Danes. Th there's a raiding camp west of here I was told to be wary of. I acting as Tedmund, I ordered a band of soldiers to capture them. If you hurry, you may be able to stop this. If another band of Danes wants to join our assault, we'll have the distraction we need to get inside Worcester. If the Saxons don't slaughter them first. I, I am still Tedmund, the men in the field. I could speak with their captain, send his men away. It's a fearless plan. The Nornia knit winding paths that cannot be unknotted. It seems Ruth's sister was always in our path. Abbot, stay alert. We'll send word when we're ready to capture Tedmund. And this fool? He knows much of our plan. He'll come with us. And if he betrays me, I will roast his balls over a roaring fire. You will not regret this. My wily ways and quick wit will cease the need for bloodshed. I still might kill you yet, man. If your prattling doesn't cease. Alright, plan B. The rewards for being Tedmund are rapidly diminishing. And how does one become a double? Are there vigorous challenges and tests to overcome? I was born with the misfortune of looking like someone else. I should have stayed on God's chosen path. What took you from it? I'm the seventh son of a poor farmer. And not wanting another mouth to feed, my father gave me to the monks. The cloistered life did not suit you? I thought there would be great comfort in repetition. But instead I found nothing but prayer and back-breaking toil. The Norns weave strange destinies. Now your life depends on the story you weave for yourself. I'm not a good forgery. Still tears from leaden, my hands sweat, and I have a stutter when I'm nervous, but, but, but I will try. <laughs> ah, the cornerstone of all great art. The captain does not know Tedman well. If we keep our heads, he will not question my orders. If you keep I your hope. head. If you, not us, you. The, and the way you're running is utterly... It's disturbing. We are too late. There is great horror here. Those who remain must be saved, whatever the cost. Let us approach the captain with caution. He drinks too much and does not need a reason to kill us. Yes, it is I, Thane Tedmund, coming to discuss the orders I gave to you not one day ago. This hampock will get us all killed. Oi! Let us free, you festering canker on a sow's arse! Jesus! Pipe down, you dogs! You're slaves of Kent now! Alright. Say, Tedmund, what are you doing here? How dare you address me in such a defiant manner? 
Do you not know who I am? You are Tedmund, as I've said. And I mean no disrespect, Lord, but I was told you were back in Rue, sister. Oh, yes. And, 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 and do I... Do, do I look like I'm in Rue, sister? You, uh, do not, sir. A wise man is always unexpected. You travel in strange company, Lord. An Arab and... a Dane. I'm here to advise your thane in the ways of my people. That, that is correct. A cultural exchange of sorts. Perhaps one day I will visit your... Uh, Dane... Dane land. Norway. You mistake me for a foreigner. But are we not all just the measure of the places we have seen? Right. Well, that aside, have you any further orders, Lord? Yes. Yes. I order, I order you to stop loitering and return to your barracks, you scabwit. And what of the captured Danes? You must kill them all! Every last... Sorry, no. Uh, leave them here, tied up, as a... as a feast for wolves and crows. That is all, you may depart. Shoot! A convincing ruse that has earned you your freedom. Go, and make your life anew, not in another man's boots. I will. This small sup of power has got me thinking. Perhaps I could be a l leader of men. <clears throat> yes, yes! Hurry along, men! Warm thighs and ale awaits! Sure, Come on, you laggards! You have Tedman's orders. Tied up like animals. I need to free them. Oh. We owe you our lives, friend. These Saxon whoresons would have killed us all. Yes, they would have. And now's your chance to hit back. March with us on Rochester, and drain it of riches. I will gladly, friend. But we few will not break those iron-thick walls. And we have no allies in Wessex. None who could be called upon to attack their countrymen. Mercia will heed the call. Giedrich will provide our viking at a halt. We'll send a message to Oxenfordshire. The men of Mercia would gladly take a swipe at Wessex. What is your name, warrior? Runa Egelstotter. We need ships, Runa. We have a small fleet moored upriver. But a naval chain blocks passage to Rue Sisters' walls. I'll remove it. And your people will bring their ships. Now, gather these fallen weapons and armor. Giedrich and the men of Oxenfordshire will need them to hide their Mercian origins. My warriors were denied Valhalla today. I cannot bear the idea of gifting their weapons to more Saxons. Their sacrifice was great. Their gift will be all the greater. And they will know justice with our victory. It will calm their restless shades, I promise. Will your men bring the armor to the battle? And what is our plan? In the morning you will go to Buckingham, remind Giedrich of his promise. When you have his bond, meet me on the shore near Rue, sister, with the ships. Ah, but Cunibert must be warned in advance. He'll need time to muster his rescue party. Runa, that is your task. I'll tell you where to meet him before you leave. All seems in order. At first new light, I will leave. Good. That gives us time to drink. You travel so far to carry out your duty. Is this the life of a uh, hidden one? Always on the move? No. Mine is not the usual path. The creed does travel. Our ideals are universal. We believe that. So there's nowhere you call home? No place I call home. No. Weird. <laughs> For me, home is family. But I have no family. No one? Not even Hytham? Parents, brothers, all dead. I lost my parents when I was nine winters along. 
Without a cigarette, I would have. I would have. There is always one unbreakable bond. Yes. Children. <laughs> they bewilder you. They can cause you so much worry. Fill you with joy. Even stop your heart. And if you're lucky, they replace you. I was not so lucky. I had a son. I miss him terribly. Even now. I am sorry. Bethel. He was taken from me. By someone I trusted. A friend. A mentor. A man who I would trust with anything. But a man you trust with anything can take everything. Holy shit, man. Rue's sister will not be an easy nut to crack. Time to prepare. Release the naval chain. I'm full on ammo. Am I full on, uh, yep. <laughs> See, where are we going? There. See, I knew I know we'd be going after that at some point. But let's uh Oh. Oh shit. There we go. Let's go here. Okay. Where is that piece of Okay, so it's 20 down. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Certainly didn't mean for that to happen, but it's okay. Need to find a key. Keys nearby, actually. It is strangely down below. Wait a minute, is this one of the places we... No, we didn't raid this place, did we? Get in here. Made everything a little wobbly, but didn't do much else. Okay, so. Oh, I see how to get in there.
ale recipe. This door just doesn't open? That's a little strange. Carry anything. Okay, up we are. Didn't notice that, and... Lovely! Okay, sweet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, when we return, we will uh, lower the chain, bring the ships in, and start conquering again. So uh, thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe on Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time.